go back down to the swamp. Now at the far end of this left end of the swamp over here, that's where we found that Cadillac, which we mostly removed. The only thing left at this point is the chassis. Now these tires, either somebody decided to roll them down the rest of the way and watch it for fun, or they just got away when they originally dumped them. That one's in, well, they're all in bad shape. They've been here down here for a while. None of them are reusable. Here's one that really got far over here. And I'm gonna grab that and pull that out of here because this whole area can be covered with water on another time. For what it's worth, Get it out of the swamp. All right, now let's see if we can walk across here. See how soft this is going to be. We had a little bit of misty rain last night. It's a little goopy, but I think I can find a path across. We got some pressure treated wood bottles that floated along through here. usual tree pieces <laughs> that build some nice log jams in the river here and there the beavers love that pieces of big chunks of styrofoam these come out of appliances like the, the uh, insulation between the freezer wall and the outside of the refrigerator got a nice bucket over here hopefully it's salvageable I can carry some things in there of course, it's got the lid on it, so it's not too promising. Pretty brittle, too. Oh, yeah, it's broken on the bottom side. Yeah, I've seen better days. So this green looks really, really nice. And I think... It's an invasive species, not from this area originally. There's no way you're going to get rid of this. All oh, the blue hair and just took off. Oh, I can't see him. He's up in the tree now. Hard to follow with this camera, with this bright sunlight. Goodness gracious, look at that. Will you look at that. Wow. Well, first of all, look at that beast of a tree in the middle of the river. That was one big tree at one point. And you can see some of the roots kind of sticking out. Another tree here that fell across. But look at all that trash. That, my friends, is just a couple hundred yards away from the Patapsco River and the bay. From the tidal part of the bay. All this, all this crap. The television in there floating. I can't get in there right now with what I've got with me. I've got footballs, basketballs, bottles, cans, lumber, styrofoam. almost makes you want to go back to the mouth of Deep Run where it hits the Patapsco River and start collecting trash there and working your way upstream for the fear that you'll miss something if you don't. I mean, where do you start? Seems like it's never ending, but we are making, we are making progress. Some of this is eventually going to get away from us, but we are making progress. This river will be clean in a few more years. If we can just keep people from making it worse. As you go along here, I mean, Furnace Avenue is on top of the hill. Um, every ravine along here has an amazing amount of junk in it. So 
Yeah, this is a little bit, a little bit smaller ravine, but equally trashed. Some of the junk starting to come into view now. Plenty of tires. Got some rims. Bottles. Some beer bottles. Let's see which way to go. How about this way? Tires, tires, tires. I don't know if I'll be able to get up to the climb the slope out of here. It's pretty steep. But here you go. Somebody's idea of how to dispose of things. I can get through here or not. I'm killing myself. So we got some more televisions. Barrel. I mean, this is like a little bowl here. I mean, perfect for just filling with junk. If you were, if you had a lot of it. Oh, look at that. A bank bag from the County National Bank. Huh. A lock on it and everything. You got auto parts. Garden hoses, McDonald's bags, exhaust pipes, plastic bucket lids, carpet, carpet padding, floor mats from a car, and just an endless sea of bottles. Wow, there's another ravine just on the other side of this with more stuff. Yeah, this one's not quite as big, but I got the kids' toys. Big wheel. Bottles, tires, antifreeze jugs. in this county, so this is Anne Arundel, and, I, and I'll admit that it's close to the border of two other counties, so it's not just Anne Arundel County and its citizens, but how can this area, these people of Maryland, how can they let this happen? They just let it go. 